Hello and welcome to another mix-up. And today's mix-up is Nikolai plus Jaritos. Jaritos, little jars. So the Nikolai was introduced in 1941 and Jaritos in 1950. Nikolai is 40% alcohol. It is the green label. This is the, I have the green label. It was eight dollars ninety nine cents for this handle at Total Wine and More. You can see condensation now on the bottle because the water is evaporating from the liquor, but it's got nowhere to go. See, because the bottle's sealed. So uh, that's what's happening. But uh, Nikolai Premium Vodka with Premium Liqueur. So the green label is the Premium Vodka with Premium Liqueur. Don't know why they do that. Started in 1941 by um, the Joseph Seagram's Distilling Company. They sold it to Sazerac in 1989, and they're the, they're the current owners. There's only had, only had two owners of Nikolai. Uh, there's a black label, which I've never seen in Louisiana. That's the 100% vodka, 80 proof. There's the red label, which is 100 proof. So you got the 80 proof green, the 80 proof black, the 100 proof red label, and then there's all the flavored Nikolais, whipped cream, pineapple, um, red berry. Oh, I mean, there's so many. Um, but they don't list it on the Sazerac website, so you just have to look around, maybe on the internet, do a Yahoo or Google search, see who's got the flavors if you're curious to try them. You could get it for a good price. It's a pretty good grain uh, vodka, actually. Uh, it's produced at Buffalo Trace in Frankfort, Kentucky, but if you go on a tour there, they're not going to show you Nikolai, all right? It's probably done at night when the tourists aren't around. Okay, so they're going to show you the Wheatley vodka. That's their showcase vodka. But this might be closely related to Wheatley in, you know, in many ways. So it's clear, odorless, colorless. It should be odorless, colorless, but I don't think it will be, being that it's a not a pure vodka. Now it's mostly um, odorless, but there's a little grain pickup, like distilled corn, and maybe I'm thinking maybe they're using a vanilla liqueur. I don't know. It's a mystery. It's strange. Um, the Haritos Mandarin natural flavored soda. I've never had the Mandarin. I've had the Tamarin and some of the other flavors. So this one is made with pure cane sugar and it is from Tip Distributing of El Paso, Texas. But they own it, but it's or also known as Nova Mex. But it, they, they um, produce it in Mexico. It's imported into the U.S. and it's certified kosher. As you can see there. It was purchased, I purchased it, this at Walmart in Jefferson Parish, Louisiana. It was like $1.38 for this huge 1.5 liter bottle. One point five liter. We get glass bottles here, but um it's a lot cheaper to get these big ones. Cheaper per ounce, I, I should say. I mean you get the glass bottles, they'd be eleven no twelve ounces. And it's like a dollar twenty-eight or dollar eighteen or sometimes a dollar thirty-eight. So it's basically the same price for the big one. Yeah, it smells like vodka and mandarin oranges, huh? Screwdriver. All right, that's basically what this is. Sugar sweet. Now, if you don't like. Very sweet products, you might want to avoid Haritos, the little jars. It's saying natural flavors. 
water, cane sugar, citric acid, natural flavor, sodium benzoate, benzoate as a preservative, FD&C food, drug, and cosmetic, yellow number 6, and food, drug, and cosmetic, red number 40. Yellow and red make orange. Okay, makes sense. Um, made in Mexico. So natural flavor. I would think the natural flavor would be mandarin orange extract. Or actual mandarin oranges that they bought from, uh, of course they would probably say it contains fruit. I don't think that contains any fruit. Um... It's probably a mandarin orange extract. The oil of it. Because even if they put actual mandarin oranges that, you know, were like reject from a produce company, that would still be suitable for making this. Even if they strained it all out, all the solids, would still be the juice in there. So, yeah. It does taste exactly like a mandarin orange, so that is definitely a natural thing going on there. So, a real winner. Haritos with the, the Nikolai Vodka. Premium Vodka or Premium Liqueur. So, Try a little bit on its own here. So the, the Nikolai, I'm going to give it an 85 out of 100. It's a B. Good. Um, now, you know what? I'm going to go 86. It's it's really uh, a solid product. So 86, 8.6 out of 10. It's a very good uh, vodka product there. Can't speak for the other Nikolai variants. I've never had them. This is delicious. So if you want a good savory um, mandarin orange flavor, I strongly suggest you get the Haritos. There's a heater coming on that. Haritos Mandarin, which I know is one of the more popular ones. Uh, maybe their most popular. I see that at Walmart. At all the Walmarts. The Walmart here only sells this brand, uh, this flavor, but uh, the one in Jefferson Parish had about five flavors. Okay, so uh, laissez les bon temps relay. I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Frankfort, Kentucky and take a distillery tour.